Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Sikorsky introduces Raider X. Bombardier will showcase the new Learjet 75 Liberty business jet at NBAA base. And ADSB rebates are gone. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. On Monday, Sikorsky introduced the Raider X, a helicopter they call agile, lethal, and survivable. The Raider X program offers increased performance, including highly responsive maneuverability, enhanced low speed hover, off axis hover, and level acceleration and braking. This program will reportedly enable the Army to not only lower the acquisition costs, but enable rapid, affordable upgrades to stay ahead of the evolving threat. Modern open systems architecture based avionics and mission systems will be utilized, offering plug and play options for computing sensors, survivability, and weapons. The Raider X program also believes the X2 compound coaxial technology provides unmatched potential and growth margin for increased speed and payload. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. There's never been a better time to become a pilot. At the Sling Pilot Academy, you can get your private, commercial, and instrument ratings in nine months for less than $63,000 and do it in modern, fun airplanes. Your flight training is going to be as exciting as your future career as an airline pilot. SlingPilotAcademy.com Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. Last Friday, cosmonaut Alexei Leonov passed away at the age of 85 in Russia. During a mission back in 1965, Leonov was the first person to exit an orbiting space capsule, becoming the first person to walk in space. ATR received authorization from its board of directors for launch of the ATR 42600S. This stole version of the ATR 42600 offers takeoff and landing capabilities on runways as short as 800 meters, with 40 passengers on board in standard flight conditions. To date, ATR has recorded 20 commitments from operators and lessors for the ATR 42600S variant. All attendees at the upcoming AEA Connect conference will have the opportunity to take the Aircraft Electronics Technician Certification and Endorsement exams free of charge, a $175 value courtesy of the AEA Educational Foundation. The certification is provided by ASTM's National Center for Aerospace and Transportation Technologies. These certifications demonstrate the knowledge base of the advanced aerospace technician and promote safety and professionalism in the aerospace workforce. The Boeing Company Board of Directors separated the roles of Chairman and Chief Executive Officer. Dennis A. Muhlenberg continues as CEO, President, and a Director. And the Board elected David L. Calhoun, current Independent Leader Director, to serve as non-executive Chairman. The Board said splitting the Chairman and CEO roles will enable Muhlenberg to focus full-time on running the company as it works to return the 737 MAX safely to service. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Bombardier will showcase the new Learjet 75 Liberty at NBAA base in Las Vegas with a full-size interior mock-up. 
The Learjet 75 Liberty debuts the segment's first executive suite, an area at the front of the cabin with two forward-facing seats and three feet of leg room. Passengers can stretch out on oversized ottomans that are easily stowable and open up their laptops on retractable side tables. Visitors will also experience class leading legroom in the club suite with a four seat configuration, large side tables, and plenty of storage. The Learjet 75 Liberty is reportedly the fastest aircraft in the light jet segment with a top speed of Mach 0.81 and a range of 2,080 nautical miles. It also features the advanced Bombardier Vision flight deck and includes the recently announced Garmin G5000 avionics upgrade. If you were holding out and still hoping for one of those $500 rebates from the FAA for equipping your aircraft with ADS-V, you're pretty much out of luck. The agency announced late last week all 20,000 rebates offered to general aviation aircraft owners to equip their aircraft with a new surveillance technology have been issued. Aircraft owners who have already reserved their rebate but not claimed it yet with installation will be allotted the specific time needed to complete the requirements for the rebate. Starting January 1st of 2020, ADSB Out Avionics will be required for aircraft flying in certain controlled airspace. The FAA has reiterated the deadline will not change. And that's all for today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. If you want the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, just head over to aero-news.net. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.